grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Look, I pray that you are doing exceedingly well. And I know it's been a minute, but um, God is alive and well and active. And I pray that you are seeing not only his fingerprints, but the DNA of the Holy Spirit in and through your life. That is my prayer for you today, that he has his way and he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you ever ask or imagine possible. Look, I want to bring a quick um, video to you today and I wanted to uh, just really preface it by this. Are you in God's word? When you are in God's word, are you in God's word to receive or to preface what you are wanting to get the word or out of the word to be in order to speak or to um, change a circumstance? Let me explain a little bit. And again, this is something that he has downloaded to me today. He's just realigned my perception. He's realigned my expectations to the very fact of when I get into the living word of God, the logos, the expressed word of God. Look, it is sharper than any two-edged sword. It is the very thing that can bring correction to our lives. It can be the very word that brings life to our situation. But I want to do and I want to share something. And when I share it, this is not to say that I'm sharing it to you as if I've arrived or figured this out, but I'm learning like you are in order to allow myself to be postured, have a posture of heart, an expectation in my spirit that I'm not going to the word of God to try to realign the way that I'm seeing something. Let me, let me explain. Let's say you're going through a situation, right? Let's say you're going through a hard time. In the past, what Eric has done is I have try to construe or um, man really artificially assimilate the word of God into that situation that I would get out of it what I had been expecting does that make sense in other words I don't like the outcome of something that's going on or I don't like the way something happened and what I will do is go through the word of God in order that I will find something that will apply to that thing in which I perceive, I think I've shared, or a way that I'm feeling. Here's what I would pray for us today, for me today. When I was in the Word today, I didn't have an expectation. I did expect to receive. But it wasn't until hours later that I sat there and it was like bubblings coming up in my spirit. It was like, matter of fact, living water flowing from my belly and from my spirit man and what I mean by that is I believe the word was alive and active and what I did was I was present for the reading because I was driving down the road and I was listening to revelations and I believe in order for us to have a revelation or to have a revelatory sense of what the living word of God is exegeting or aligning in our life to apply to that situation or that, or that thing that we're wondering on. That is what, and that's how the Lord uses the living word of God. The essence of who he is. The logos, precept upon precept, line upon line. He began to download to me. Because, listen, I didn't have a need. Yes, I have needs. We're needy people. Amen. I didn't have something I was sitting there going, Lord, speak to me through your word today for this or for this or for that. What I did was I unattached my wants and needs and I said, breathe Holy Spirit on me today. Breathe in my situation. Illuminate your word. Let it become active and transforming and transformative in my life so that I may be a living epistle. I hear you, Holy Spirit. That's what I wanted to get across today. When you read, when you go into the Word, or if you're about to do it again, just to say, Lord, here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. And here I am to say, you're my God. You're altogether lovely. You're altogether worthy. And you're altogether amazing and worthy of it all. Holy Spirit, have your way. Speak to them a day and show them line upon line 
precept upon precept, what the Word of God is saying to them today. God bless you and go in peace.